Welcome to Furious 8 Review from Clang and Bang. Now, this is the eighth movie in the series. I got hype. I got amped. I love these movies. I have, I'm a huge fan of them. One, because I've worked on a couple, and two, because I think they're some of the best well-made movies that come out right now. We need to take a second to appreciate the co-stars of this movie. Now, the co-stars are the automobiles that, and the cars that they use in this movie. Spectacular modifications. Some one-off cars. You'll love the tank. You'll love the plow. Also, I want to say who stole the show this uh, in this movie is Jason Statham. His performance is nothing short of remarkable. Great stunts. Great one-lines. Him going at it with The Rock verbally is one of the best things about this movie. And it's also, you know, it's a complete departure from his role in the previous movie. Sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit, but this car was a beast. The scenes with this car are some of my favorite scenes in the movie. It's the classic Vin Diesel Challenger modified for the snow when they go up and to the uh, to the base in Russia, you'll love this scene. This scene right here is incredible. I meant to say Challenger, not Charger. And this is my by far the my favorite character in the movie is Charlize Theron's character. This was the most evil that I have ever seen anyone in a Furious movie. She is a badass, an evil, evil, evil badass. You will walk out of the theater hating Charlize Theron. Which is a difficult thing to do because I really love Charlize Theron. Now, the main conflict comes from Dom and The Rock. I always call him the, the Rock, but he's Luke Hobbs. Now, Hobbs and Toretto have been working together for the past couple of missions, and they've, they've trusted each other, this whole thing around family, them being a bonded family, and them trusting each other. Now, it gets disrupted. And when it gets disrupted, mayhem ensues. Now, it is a mashup of a whole lot of different things. I can't, I'm not going to spoil it, but... There are a lot of things that you won't see coming, and it's amazing, and it's glorious, and I want to thank the writers and F. Gary Gray, who directed this movie, who did such a great job hiding all of this, but it will be, it will blow your mind, because I, I didn't see it coming, and I've been a fan of all this for so long, I didn't even see it. Now... What I did see were all these freaking explosions. More explosions than, I'm going to say, maybe the first seven combined, which is an awesome thing. And just the, the stunts in this one, you have to kind of go to another level each movie, and they rose to that challenge. I am very, very, very happy with how they did that. So go check it out. I mean, it was... As advertised, I hope that the numbers do as well as the previous movie so we can get another one in another couple years. But what what can I say? What do you get what do you want out of a movie? This movie gave me literally everything I wanted. And I think they did a great job too honoring Paul Walker, who did all seven, or he wasn't in three, but did all the other ones, and he he would be very, very proud of this movie. Roman Pierce is by far my personal favorite character of this movie. And when you watch it, you will see he is hilarious, has some of the best lines in the movie. I am very happy. Tyrese, you killed it. Congratulations, bruh. You, you did it. You nailed it.